If you are one of those people who has no head for heights, you'd better shut your eyes for a moment or two, because the subject of our story is steeplejacks, men who think no more of working on a narrow ledge high above ground level than most of us would of catching a bus. A foot in the wrong place here, or a sudden gust of wind, and you find yourself rapidly obeying the law of gravity. Tall chimneys and lofty spires are the accepted provinces of these men, but another, not so well-known one, is flagpoles, of which there is a veritable forest in London alone. During the winter months, smog, smoke and general filth in the atmosphere are dear to the poles, and they have to be washed down, so the steeplejacks are called in. Scornfully rejecting any weak-kneed puns about these men being up the pole, we will mention one more hazard for flagpoles. Seagulls and pigeons treat them with a familiarity so gross that it borders on downright contempt. The method used to manoeuvre up and down the pole is by Boston's chair and rope stirrups, which seems quite difficult enough on its own without having matters complicated by buckets and sponges. The twice yearly cleaning and painting of London's flagpoles is similar to the cleaning and painting of the fourth bridge. As soon as it's finished, it's time to start again. Some people can get used to almost anything, but it takes fairly steady nerves to roll yourself a smoke while suspended like a puppet. These steeplejacks are an unemotional lot, and paradoxically, they are highly strung, but far from nervous.